What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's up today. I'm taking you right back again for another trove. Trove, trove, trove. Trove, trove, trove. <laughs> so today is going to be a little bit different than our typical adventure and stuff like that. I'm not sure if today most likely I'm going to have... Uh, this video is probably going to come out as well as just a normal crazy adventure episode. Uh, I talked about this in our patch notes for this week that came up that I am trying to start spreading out our Trove content because this is where everybody's at. Everybody seems to be loving all the Trove videos and stuff. So I want to be able to give more than just the typical 10 minutes a day while not expounding upon those episodes video length. You know what I mean? Like 10 minutes works for me because it's pretty much like, uh, you know, I usually take a little, a little bit of a breather after those episodes and stuff and then I can go crazy all over again. But anyway, today we are actually going to be spending our time in the club world. Not sure how long this episode's going to be because we're going to be doing this every now and then. Uh, this isn't going to come out like regularly every day or anything like that, just when there's things actually worth mentioning. So right now I want to actually talk about some of the things that have, we have been constructing in the club world. So I ended up finally putting up these spires and these are very useful for those that don't know if you have wings, you can use these perfectly. I don't know what's with my frame rate today. It is ridiculous. I hope that it's not showing up too bad in the video. <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to try and take care of that one sec. There we go. Hopefully that'll do it. I turned off my second monitor. Not sure why that would cause errors and stuff. But anyway, so I ended up constructing these. I had a middle of the night live stream where I ended up making them. Uh, didn't really, I didn't upload it to YouTube. So for those that don't know, twitch.tv slash Antignorot is my Twitch channel. And every now and then I'll just like do like random streaming and stuff like that on there, but not, not necessarily regularly. Uh, for those that are only interested in the actual full on Trove series, though those videos always get uploaded to YouTube. So anyway, here's King Androdo's house. And he, I won't say that he's quit, but he's just not around as much anymore. Like, I, I still have him on Skype, you know, we're still good friends, and I try to talk to him every chance that I get, hopefully. Uh, but he's been very busy with school and stuff like that, and just generally hasn't found much time to get into Trove, you know? Like, a lot of people kind of come and go from this game, while I myself personally, like, I just love this game in general. Hello, Death King! So I made this, I think it's a little joke, uh, or it is a little joke, and I think he'll find it funny if he's watching. But, welcome to King Androdo's house. He's dead now, because he's not around anymore. But this was his house that he made like a million years ago. This is actually, oh... Well, that room's kind of empty. That room's also kind of empty. That room's also kind of empty. I guess he just worked on the upstairs. Uh, another thing, too, that I was trying to do, and we may end up working on a little bit of something like that. Ooh, I like this. It's cool. But something that I was just kind of messing with a long time ago. See these cat icons right here? I was going to make kind of an Easter egg hunt where it would be like, can you find all the cat faces in the club world or something like that? But yeah, it didn't really pan out. So another thing too that I ended up touching up in the club world was I finally ended up making this bridge. Oh, pardon me. Normally this bridge was just green leaves going to an the other tree. Uh, but I finally ended up touching it up. So it's the golden white bridge. Uh, to follow theme with King Andrew's stairway to heaven that he was working on that ended up going to his house right there. I see an imperfection on the side. So anyway, it's cool. I like it. I think that it finally worked itself out. I also ended up cleaning up this tree quite a bit because as these biomes were added, I like the player traffic is rarely up here because there's not really anything up here worth noting and I finally ended up finding the time I came up here started looking through all the trees and stuff and trying to find out like what's up here that we don't technically need anymore right so yeah uh, another thing too that people may or may not have noticed I'm gonna go do this right down here I made a sign that says for those without wings take the stairs to the sky whale Bowser because that's what uh, our sky whale is called I finally ended up making our pathway to him uh, there's another thing I want to Mmm, I don't even know where it is, so you know what? Forget it. Let's just go right back up here so that I can show you all what we ended up doing. Right. <laughs> Woo! Oh, hello. We have another person here. It's Clipper. <laughs> so, ahead lies, follow the path through the clouds. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Water went down the wrong tube. I guess Bowser's casting a spell. So, what you end up doing is you come around here and you... Oh. 
Do I not have a way up to this tree anymore? I guess I don't. Well, I'll have to construct something like that. But anyway, you can end up... Who did this? Who did this? Somebody messing with our tree, man. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I still have it set to nobody. I'm gonna do all that building later But anyway, you come up to this portal area and then normally you you just go over to these You start with a default two jumps now, so that's pretty cool. Ooh, I want to go see what's over there, too uh, But also I've constructed this so pretty much if you have one jump in a mount you can get up here just fine Whoa! Victory climb up the clouds. This will take you all the way to the gigantic Bowser up in the sky So I, I've been meaning to make something like this It's not as fancy as I want it to be now This is the trick shot right there because you gotta land right there Otherwise you're gonna end up falling off now. Oh, that's why I was gonna show so down at the club like I guess, well, I guess, whatever, I don't need to show it. So, this is like an astronaut bear, and I made like a kind of, let's just call it a little bit of a role play story, where it's like, I made his brother down by the clubhouse, and he actually says, like, it's like, you know, I lost my brother, he went up into the sky, I don't know where he is, and then he's up here waiting, right? Also, we ended up coming in here, and I don't know if I've shown this on camera other than streaming and stuff, uh, but this is blue and red hair shows your team, because normally, if you want, you can actually change your hairstyle to show your teams. Uh, we may end up actually making this into a regular mini game or something like that, because like I said, I want to start making more Trove content, and I think it would be really cool. I don't have things prepared for it right now, but I think it would be really cool if we had like a side series, maybe like once a week or something like that. Like, that would be kind of cool, right? Where it's like we had like a little bit of a soccer tournament or something. I don't know. May just like some goofy gimmicky thing, right? So anyway, we go in here and I forget. I'm sorry. I forget who. I think it was Gaming Fox. I think he's the one who told me about it, Where if you put these glowing blocks in here, a soccer ball, which we actually don't have on us right now, uh, a soccer ball will actually blow up when it hits glowing blocks. So he told me about that and now this soccer tournament thing actually works perfectly. So hopefully we'll end up having enough soccer balls that we can end up doing it. Also, we have another evil chicken up here. And then back here, I think it was Craftmaster that threw this together. What's that? Get out of there. <laughs> Craftmaster threw this together. I just put this little door right here to try and make it a little bit more obvious. But he actually made jump down into the target. Try to land in the water. Let's see if we can do it today. Woo! Oh, goodness! Do we got it? I don't think we got it. Oh, so close. <laughs> we actually nailed it, like, during a stream once. If you land right in the water here, then... Oh, you can actually jump off with your boat, too. That would be really cool. But, yeah, if you land in the water, it's like, you know, there you go. So, that that's pretty cool. I like that he ended up making something like that. So, besides that, um, what else is there? This is, like, all reminiscent of old stuff. The Candyland hasn't been touched very much uh, just because, like, I, I've set up this biome to kind of be, like, officers only. Because underneath it is the dance club and I don't want people messing with it or anything like that. Like that's kind of the trade-off to when something cool ends up getting built. So over here as well, actually this biome's pretty big. Yeah, we'll have to figure something out about it. Oh, I'm going to have to clear up those trees. Whoops, wrong button. So over here, I ended up half working on, I put a little bit of a beach. I put a little bit of an island and I forget who made this one. I think it was Yoko. I think that's what somebody said, unless unless they have their name right over here. But I like it. It's cool. And another theme that a lot of people have been doing, which is kind of neat, is they add, like, the lava right here so you can do some lava fishing while you're on this island, right? But anyway, cool little house. And then over here, I don't think, is another thing that we've only ever shown on streaming. They really need to fix the acceleration on these boats, man. Because otherwise, like... I understand what they're going for where the boats have acceleration and technically they're like the fastest thing in the game But what's the point in taking a boat when your wings already are at max speed immediately, you know? So anyway, here's our tropical little tropical little island with a tiki torch and towels and stuff like that And then this waterfall I still need to touch that one up But over here I ended up making just a tiny one and it's got a skull head up here I'm not sure why this water is being a little bit weird right now. Let me see if I can fix this up Get in there! Blah. Blah. Did that do it? <laughs> nope, it's not doing it. Let's see, there. 
There we go. That's what I want. I just wanted another stream going on. So anyway, I made this little skull. I just threw it together. It kind of looks like a troll skull or a goblin or something like that. No, nothing really that impressive. I'm not very good at making like skulls or anything like that. But then there's this cave and I kind of stole this theme from uh, Lord Sithis has one in his vile scallywags where he had all the moss and he was using these torches on the ceiling and sides and stuff like that. Really had some atmosphere to it. Like I still, that's one of the things about this game is I still love the way that it looks. Like the, the, the graphics and the art direction is still absolutely phenomenal that's one of the reasons that this is also one of my favorite just beyond its gameplay being absolutely epic so in here that was very strange we glitched where we were still on our boat craft master ended up making this this is our dock town which i talked about but i never found town to, time to make it and then he ended up throwing it together which really really cool i'm really glad they ended up doing that we've actually been having a lot of people start building lately and i'm very excited about that because i would would love to keep building more but I just don't have the time plus I love seeing other people's builds and stuff like that you know like I really like seeing what other people come up with so anyway down here is kind of like consider this like the entrance into Pirate's Cove or whatever you want to call it and then out here I guess this is like a world tour, isn't it? Out here, I started, there's a bridge here and a path, and that waterfall is not really a secret, because, but it goes into the cave and you can get in there. Ooh. Just about to, oh. <laughs> Cupid's about to make his pen bar, that's cool. Uh, so anyway, over here, this is Mighty Joe and Yoko, which um, they, they've been building actually quite a bit. They actually ended up making a western town, which is kind of neat too. Uh, the house over here, you can kind of see like, I like the fact they, they kind of seem to build similarly to me where it's like they build the house and then they just leave it and don't bother decorating it for a time like until like way later. That's kind of how I build too where it's like I just like adding the details to the world and then way later maybe when I have some spare time and some spare resources then then we'll end up decorating like some of these houses and stuff. But anyway I ended up making like this this path I think is gonna go over to that bridge and maybe a couple houses along the way or something like that. We shall see. I ended up making this path go over here though and that's another way into the pirate cove by the way which is it looks like it's kind of open up the top here. I don't know who did that. Maybe I just never really sealed it, but I, I think I did. I don't know. But anyway, this path right over here is just some... I don't know. It doesn't even really work. It's kind of like a secret spot where you come up in here just to hang out or just look off the edge because it's cool, whatever. Uh, but if you come over to this path... There's a wing thingamabob and somebody made a pit of despair or something. Uh, then if you come up here, this is actually really recent... Uh, Aerio Village, home of the Army of Wind by Snakeshot, Red Ninja, and Captain Napkin. Yeah, so they, uh, were working on this one, and I like this house, that's kind of neat. I like all this, like, see, that's what I mean, I really like it. I don't know what this is, maybe it's supposed to be something later, but I like all these lanterns and stuff like that. I like the fact that somebody ended up adding this in here. Seems like all the resources got taken out of there, though, so I wonder who did that. Ooh! These are all new to me too. I haven't seen these. Even this house with its very strange roofs. <laughs> anyway, it's cool. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like a symbol or something. But anyway, they ended up making this castle. And these are going to, I guess, be like the rooms and stuff. Like that's Red Ninja. That's Snake. And that's like, I guess, supposed to be a napkin. I don't know. I guess this episode's going to be a little bit longer than 15 minutes, ladies and gents. Uh, like I said, like, I don't know how often these are going to be. Because if we are doing like a world tour like this then like it takes a while before things actually end up getting built in the world so we'll see what happens but i'm going to be trying to rack my brain and try to experiment with making uh other things for the trove series than just us messing around in adventure mode and stuff maybe i'll even start doing some building on camera or speed builds or something like that we'll see because generally i uh, i find speed builds or not speed builds generally i find building to be very boring as far as footage is concerned, so we'll see. And that's just me personally. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> park built by Mighty Joe, dedicated to Captain Napkin. I don't know why everyone keeps dedicating everything to Captain Napkin. <laughs> that's a secret. Uh, I guess this must be on purpose. Looks like he touched up his entrance a little bit. I like it. But this park of awesome has been here for like a million years. This was where everybody was dancing until we ended up making the dance club. Then Yoko and Mighty Joe ended up making this, which that would normally be a T from Trove, but it seems like it's upside down. 
Yeah, I don't know. But they were kind of going for, I guess, like an Elysium theme, Skyland type of thing. Uh, also, over here, Yoko seems to have claimed this area, although he hasn't worked on it for quite a long time, where he's going to make like a big old castle of darkness here or something like that. So, pretty cool. Sounds pretty neat to me. I like, I like this over here. I don't know who did this. Whoa! Where it actually is a bridge that goes over the lava. So that's kind of neat. I, I really like that. I like the fact that this game actually has like the mag rails over top. Uh, uh, like instead of things like Minecraft where you can't actually place it over if it's not on a block. You know, you know what I mean. So anyway, this one over here, I think, I think that uh, Redstone Fox made this, I think. And this was actually made like a million years ago. But unfortunately, when I created this next biome over here... It ended up destroying a bit of it, and I didn't count on that or expect that. Uh, but this biome is actually really cool because check this out. We actually have a volcanic cave, so this is really neat. I think we could end up building maybe our own little bat cave or something like that. Not necessarily a bat cave, the hot dog cave or something. Oh yeah, that'd be cool because now I could make like a hot dog car or something like that. I don't know, the hot dog mobile. Uh, then we got a little top hat over here. I'm not sure who made that. I ended up making this wall because this was here for a million years ago. I think it's the noob ended up making it like a million years ago. Started on the wall and then I ended up making it. I made that little house. I made this weird wizard's tower which I had a little bit of a hard time trying to figure out. I was trying to do something a bit different. Mighty Joe, this is one of the first things that he ended up making and then I also threw this little water shrine thing around here. Haven't really done much of anything with this area. Uh, but maybe, maybe we will later on. I don't know. We'll end up seeing. Uh, then this also a million years ago, this was Johnny, Captain Napkin ended up making this tower right here. And you kind of know this beginning village type of thing. I still have to fix a couple things over there. I still got a couple houses that I want to end up making. I, I really hope that this game ends up making like a proper building system where you could have like a selection tool and you could select an area and tell it to fill in a certain block type and take all the resources, you know, and stuff like that. I think it would also be really, really cool if they stole um what is it like it would be great for two things one is that a club world definitely needs to have a biome that could generate cornerstones or a recipe that you could throw on the ground and it would create a cornerstone spot kind of similar to when you're generating a new biome you know like that would be really cool if they did something like that i think it would also be great Although I don't know if it's entirely possible on this game's engine where we could actually use a selection tool to select this house and copy and paste it and it would just take the amount of blocks uh, from your inventory to try and craft it, you know? Like, that that would be something that would be really cool. I think that this game, like, this game's already amazing and its adventure aspect is already one of the best I've ever played for an MMO because it's just so casual and so cool and that's kind of how I play games. But the building is definitely, like, it's... It's bordering on terrible, but everybody builds because it serves a lot more of a purpose than other games like Minecraft and stuff because everybody else gets to see it and everything like that, you know? And just generally, like, it's really, really cool to have all these builds and stuff. Like, look at this, our club world. I remember when it was just this platform and this tree up here. That actually used to be the spawn. Anyway, here's our garden, which I'm currently using right now. Uh, then there's also, what was it? Oh, yeah, this over here, I ended up constructing a pinata pit. This actually took me quite a bit to make this head because I ended up putting the spring pinata head over our character and I was trying to kind of trying to construct it from that it's not exact but i think that works and in a lot of ways kind of looks a little bit better than like i was experimenting with the exact way that it would look and it didn't really fit so this is kind of cool uh the way that it turned out we also have over here which we've already seen as well uh high lord uh ja high 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 lord high lord jash just maybe high lord i i don't know i i forget but yeah he ended up making this whole uh Tron stuff over here quite a long time ago and people kept stealing the team pixel stuff uh, but I finally ended up reconstructing it all full and it's not really the same colors as team pixel because normally team is yellow and pixel is in the pink but I didn't have the blocks when I was constructing this and it works whatever who cares but yeah so it's there hello there we go uh, then over here I think I think we may have shown this on camera. I will show off two more things right here because I'm noticing we're almost on like 20 minutes. Uh, Lord Sith has ended up constructing the Vile Scallywags Pirates ride right here, which is absolutely awesome. You got on your mag rail, 
seriously, if you check out the Vile Scallywags world, they have a really fantastic um, wing course, which I absolutely love that one. But anyway, so you come out here, and I always really like Lord Sithis' style. Anyway, you could go all the way back up in a whole full circle, but I really like the way that he builds and stuff, because I really like his skull and kind of dark, like, um punk-ish? Steampunk-ish, maybe, theme? I'm not exactly sure what you would call it. There is a hole in that skull, and I don't know why. Maybe that's on purpose. Oh, maybe it is on purpose. Yeah, maybe there was a brain being constructed. I don't know. But anyway, I like how he's got a gun on top of it, you know? Like, that's really, really cool. So, anyway, last but not least, I want to go over... That's kind of neat. There's also a wing course kind of in the making. I don't know if it actually is or not. Uh, but over here, this is kind of a little bit of our western town. Not as big as I'm hoping it gets eventually. Like, I hope that it has, like, really western, like, lots of houses and stuff like that. But this one was made by Mighty Joe and Yoko. Uh, they got, you know, a little trading post right here. A uh, little gazebo, I guess, we're just sitting around. And then they got the, uh, the poob that's dedicated to Captain Napkin, the saloon. <laughs> and then right over here is a sink tap, which actually really reminds me of Space Station Silicon Valley. Just because it does, if you don't understand the reference, well, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a pretty obscure reference because it's a pretty obscure game. But anyway, there used to be a way to get into it, and then you could actually end up getting stuck. So I guess they ended up fixing it. And then there's this big old mustache cactus guy. Oh, and then finally, last but not least, I almost forgot, respawn. <laughs> There we go. That's a fast way of getting back to the spawn. There's There's been a little bit of controversy things going on in the club world here. So I won't I won't say too much. I won't say too much. Hey, Bowser. Oh, uh, do you have any cupcakes? No, I don't, Giganto Man. So there's been a couple things going on in the club world. A couple mischievous things. I think that there is there there has been a divide. There is now the pinata... I, I'm not sure what, what their name is called off the top of my head, but there is a pinata army secretly inside the Team Pixel Club. I am aware of this. I also know where their secret base is, but I will keep that a secret for strategic reasons. And then they are against the Hot Dog Alliance. And when I ended up finding their secret base, it made me think that the Hot Dog Alliance needs a way to defend itself. So I made the Hot Dog HQ, baby. <laughs> Look at that. I got a hide player. Bloop. There we go. Get. Oh, I see. I see how it is. You can't have that parakeet no matter what I do. So, yes. Anyway, this is the Hot Dog Alliance area. Sure, player. This, I ended up trying to follow an Elysian theme. Uh, it took me quite a while to make this. It's very, very quick and easy, ultimately. Because I talked about making a tower on the back of Bowser here for quite some time. Uh, you can kind of see this too. This is actually kind of disgusting. I like it though. <laughs> Where it says hot dog and it's kind of like made out of like bread and meat. And it's, it's pretty gross. So anyway, Hot Dog Alliance HQ because we're the good guys. And that's why I kind of follow the Elysian theme here. You can't actually get to the top without having any jump or wings or anything. Well, just jump actually, I guess I should say. I haven't had any time to... Uh, construct a way of getting to the top and even when you go inside here there's not really anything in there yet uh, I also made the hot dog alliance jacuzzi the water is lukewarm so as not to cook any fellow hot dogs but anyway if you come to the tippy top here whoa I don't know what's in these towers but it's just whatever but there's a gigantic hot dog on the tippy top yeah and also if you notice on the front there that's a cannon to ward off any of the Pinatas. I should make it a better looking cannon, but I'll do that later. And anyway, if you can end up getting yourself up here into the secret, this is our secret base. This is it. So we have our robot bleep bloop, hot dog intelligence, that's what he is, has heard whispers of a secret pinata fortress in the north. Hmm, I wonder what he means by that. Then we got our kitty. We got, greetings heroes, I am Bubbles the Cat, faithful only to my master and Tignorot, unless you have treats, because his loyalty is bought with candy. <laughs> and then of course over here, greetings, my name is George Washington, secret founder of the Hot Dog Alliance, our sworn enemy, the Piñata. And of course, slash sit, and here we are, the Hot Dog, I am Commander Hot Dog. 
that's who I am, and that's what we do. So it's probably going to be like a million years before we end up coming up with another uh, video like this that just kind of comes out of left field. I'm trying to, like I said, I want to try and work on giving the content that you all want, while also myself personally just being very interested in Trove as a game, and I, like, I love this game. And if you enjoy this video, let me know. Uh, by smacking the like button with comments and stuff like that. Let me know, ladies and gents, because otherwise we could turn this into a continual theme. Let me know if you want to see just more Trove content in general, because I think generally everybody wants to see more Trove content than the 10 minutes a day, and I'm going to try and kind of gauge that based on this video and just some other experimental videos that I'm going to be working on on the side, where they're not going to be as crazy kooky, they're kind of just going to be different things, so like we're probably going to end up doing like some build episodes and stuff like that in the days to come. Let me know if you actually want to see building though, because that is actually extremely time consuming in Trove. Uh, maybe next time I end up building something, I'll record it and then like fast forward the footage to like three times and commentate over after it. I don't know, something like that. Clouds. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate it if you would, once again, smack that like button, share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. Sign on, stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.